How you guys doing? This is Neil from Digital Canvas. In this tutorial, we are going to be discussing how to draw sexy lips. So it's all about lips. But these same, uh, you know, the same knowledge can also be used to draw lips in general. Right. So before I get started, just a quick word. Um, in the description is a link to my website, to the Digital Canvas website. Uh, check that out. I have a lot of free drawing tutorials on there and um, digital painting and also photo editing and manipulation. And for writers, I know you're still waiting for more series, but maybe you haven't watched all my series yet on fiction writing. So go to the website um, in the in the description, Master Edit, and then on Master Edit there's a new section uh, for video lessons. So click on that on the video lessons and check them out and see if you've watched them all yet. Right, so let's get started then. This will probably be like a two-part series, I imagine. Just estimating here. So I want to point out some things real quick with lips before we get started. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this. All right, where's my colors? Right, let's pick a blue color. So remember <clears throat> that lips are not flat. Not only are lips not flat, but they're not on a flat surface. They're on a slightly cylindrical surface. And there are three puffy parts to remember. Um, and different lips, they exaggerate them differently. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So those five parts are the main five puffy parts of the lip. And remember that lips are curved so you have you know curved line here maybe I should use like red for right now curved line here right like like so so remember that lips are curved and they're not you know flat so you want to keep that in mind when shading them right so uh, puffy lips are sexy as you can see here and also showing a little teeth can be sexy Okay, also, before we get started on the stages of drawing lips, another thing to keep in mind is that you have the lips continue even past the part women put lipstick on, the colored part here. They continue to dip down into the chin, like so, and into the nose. So just remember that they slope out like this, like an like a M, like a mountain. And this is important when drawing from the front. That's why you'll get the little dip here, because then you have this mountain. But also you have this mountain here, which is this here. And so that's why you'll have like light hitting this top part here on this side and then shadow on this side uh, because with the lights coming from like that and then a little light right there because of that dip. All right. And then also you'll have shadow on the bottom. If the light's coming anywhere from the top, it'll, it'll cast some shadow below the lip because of that dip right there. Okay, so these images are actually from my written tutorial on drawing lips on my DeviantArt account. And uh, hopefully I'll remember to go ahead and link to that as well. So when you start drawing lips, oftentimes it's best to start with the middle line because that's the line that has the most character, especially if you're drawing like um, manga or comic books. But even if you're just doing a drawing as well, it's good to start with that center line um, to add some shape but first what we're going to do is we're going to do the most simple thing is we're going to start out with an actual straight line like so and then we're going to zoom in <coughs> so the first thing then to remember when drawing lips is how they fit on to a straight line then so we can start with the upper part knowing that let's say this person has quite a large dip and then kind of draw this mountain shape and it comes down like so. Okay, that was a bad line. This angle sometimes is hard for me to draw on the computer. I really wish I had a Cintiq. One of these days, I'll be able to afford one. Okay, so you have something like, like this. That's the basic form or shape. Now, part of the lip will actually dip down, depending on the lip, the lip style, part of it will dip down into this lower part of the line like so and some lips actually kind of you know come like this 
and then some kind of have this little dip right here. Just depends on the lip style. Oops. Right. Then the lower lip. Um, some people have like a short lower lip that might start from like right about here. And then you know some people have a larger lower lip like uh, Angelina Jolie, and it might come way like that. Some people have what I call a butt lip. You know, like that and so forth. So what we're going to do is just kind of draw an average lip. Some people kind of have a square bottom lip as well, or squarish. To get my lines like really nice, I usually have to zoom in a lot like this, and then I'm only going in one direction. I'm I'm pulling right over where I just can where I just drew, and I just continue to slightly pull over where I drew previously. Okay, so we're starting to get our lip here. And notice that uh, it's a little offset and I didn't notice that when I was drawing it until just now. And so I can just move it, no big deal. That's what's cool about digital drawing. Just select around with the lasso and then use this tool to move it. Okay, we're almost there. Lastly, we can, do, we can draw the part of the bottom lip, the inside of the bottom lip, and this will give a sexy look. I'm going to take my eraser because I forgot to do this on a separate layer. And now I can go in and erase some of that line. I'm going to actually redraw that part. I want this to be almost almost straight. Right. So remember that, you know, some people have this little bit of shadow right here that you might want to indicate even if you're doing like a cartoon where you're not going to be shading really. And then you might want to do maybe a line like so and then maybe a line down the center. You know, you're going to have like your highlights maybe along there. <coughs> you might have a little highlight here. Remember that you will have the highlight on the top of the lip. These are the things that are important to remember when you're actually shading. If you're going to shade it all, you're going to have that white line kind of on the top. You're going to have your darkest part of the lips here on the edges. So you can even indicate that by... And if you wanted to, you could shade. <coughs> and then you go over it with white after you shade if you want. Anyway, I'm not going to shade the lips though. Um, I don't want to take too much time on this video. Right, so that's the uh, stages, the steps you can go through to get lips that you want. And you, you can you know, vary the upper part and lower part to get different kinds of lips. So here in the background is the tutorial that I have on YouTube. So this is what I'm copying from. You know, no reason to you know resketch this stuff since I already have it here. But you know there are some things a video has advantage, like with the live sketching, just shows you know the stages and stuff. So here are some of the different kinds of uh, upper lips here, and different kinds of center shapes you can do. You can sometimes just do like the circle, and that looks nice in like different kinds of cartoons, especially if you're drawing small. And then different kinds of lower lips on those. And you can rearrange these in different ways to get all kinds of different lips and styles. And that really can change how a person looks is by having different styles of lips so you can have different characters. And also, I'll just go ahead and look at this for now before I go on and draw the next part. I'll we'll probably have to go into part two. There's also different kinds of shading techniques that you can do. You can go with this more realistic shading here. Uh, for drawing, or you can just go outright realism, uh, photorealism too. And then you have this kind of shading here, this kind of shading, and then a really simplistic kind of cartoon style. And, you know, just depends on what you're doing. You can use different shading techniques and it'll change the way the lips look as well. Right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll make part two next. Please visit the links in the description and rate and comment. Subscribe. Thanks. This is Neil signing out.